Today we are going to be doing something very interesting. We are going to be learning how to use something called ML5, which is machine learning for P5. That's right. There's this library that we can use to introduce some machine learning algorithms, algorithms into our P5 code. And it's fun. And as it says here, it's friendly machine learning for the web. So what you would do if you wanted to use it is you'd go to get started. And uh, you'd read through this. Um, and just so you know, you have to import this ML5 library. So this is all the code that um, allows our P5 sketch to use machine learning in it. So if you were to go look at this, this is all the code that we import in this library. So all of this various code, that's what makes the machine learning possible for our, um, for our programs. Now, just so you know, in the program that we're going to be using, there is starter code here. I've already imported that for you. It's right here. You can see it um, right here. This is the, the ML5. It's already been imported on our sketch. You don't have to do that, but I just wanted to show you that you do have to bring in this library to use it. All right, let's take a little look at what ML5 does. So ML5 actually has all of these different functionalities and they're really cool. So there's like, I'll, I'll show you some of them. They have this hand pose thing that can like track your hand. Um, so like you see all those different points. So if you wanted to make like a Thanos, a glove, you could make that using this. Um, there's this face API. Let's see here, face mesh. This is another fun one that actually makes a whole mesh of your face. So you could actually like put different things all over the, like different points on your face. It's really fun to use. But the one we're gonna be using today, and you see there's a lot of different functionalities here. The one we're using is something called PoseNet. And what PoseNet does is that it allows us to put different points. It, Sorry, it's a machine learning um, pre-trained model that knows how to identify 18 different points on your body. So it can identify where the person's eyes, nose, ears, and all that is. So this is like the um, documentation on how to use it, but I'm actually just gonna show you how it's done. So this is what we're using today, something called PoseNet, but let's, uh, let's, let's have some fun with it. So this is the starter code that we're gonna be using today. It's a little bit more code than you're used to, but I'll just walk you through it and then we'll actually use it. So, First here, I'm gonna show you here in setup, what we're doing is these first two things where it says capture equals create capture video. And that just basically means let's access your webcam. Because if we want to like put a Snapchat filter on top of a person's face, we should probably use the webcam, right? This sets the size of the webcam. So it's 800 by 600, which is the size of the canvas. And this is where the machine learning takes place in these two lines of code. This is really the where the magic happens. This says posenet is equal to ml5.posenet. And you'll see here that inside of posenet, we're putting the capture. So just to tell you what's happening is capture, remember is like we're, we're storing the webcam data. So all those images that are coming in from the webcam, they're getting put into capture. And then we're taking capture and we're putting that into this function called posenet. And that's PoseNet is that machine learning algorithm that's going to figure out where the 18 different points on your face and body are. So that's what's going to be doing all that hard work. Now you'll see this next line of code. It says PoseNet on Pose. And once again, this looks a little crazy, but just to tell you what's going on, it's saying whenever it sees a pose, whenever it can identify a pose, all right, take the results of that pose and then save it in here in poses. So basically get those results and save it in poses, all right? Now I'm waving my hands here and I just wanted to kind of just basically give you an explanation of the code here so it does make some sense of what's going on, which is basically we're taking our webcam, we're feeding into this machine learning algorithm and it's outputting a result of what we're getting. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that to have some fun. So uh, what I wanna show you is this. What are we getting back? So I'm gonna actually just quickly show you before we do anything, I'm gonna say console.log. Uh, poses. So remember, those results are get stored in poses. And I want to show you actually like what happens here. I know this is like a heavy upfront, but this is this is where the learning happens. The next part's making the filter. So let's see here. I'm going to just show you this. Let's uh, sh share. Okay, full screen. And let's take a look what's going on. So my webcam is turned on. You can see I'm here. And if you go into the console, you'll see that there's this stuff over here, and I kind of want to open one up so you can see it. So if you open this up, this is actually the result. We're console logging the poses, or so you can see what the computer has done. 
So what ML5 PoseNet has done is it actually identified these 18 different points in my body. So look, it's the left ankle, left ear, left elbow, left eye, left hip, left knee, left shoulder, left wrist. It's getting all of those different points and telling the computer where on the canvas it thinks it is. So just to give you an example, like for my nose, what it's doing is it's saying that I think that guy's nose is at the point, the X value of 400, and remember this thing is 800 by 600, so about in the middle, which that's about right, and then it's at 355. So if you think about this height being 600, it's a little bit more down than, what's it called? It's not, it's a little bit lower than the midpoint. So that makes sense. It's probably guessing where my nose is. So continuously, you can see here that it's, it's just making continuous guesses about where all of these different things are. And you can go to each one of these, so it'll tell you where it thinks the right ankle is, where the right ear is, where the right elbow is, and it tells you all these different points. Now, the other thing I wanna show you is the confidence. Now, this is saying that it has a 99% chance, I mean, it's 99% sure that my nose is at this point. So that's pretty confident, right? Because it's never 100% sure, it's just taking guesses. But if you look here, if we went to right elbow, I'm not showing my elbow right now, right? So it's saying, I think the elbow is at 81, 7, 14. So like somewhere like 81, like it's saying like somewhere over here, sorry, 81, 7, 14. That's like somewhere over here, which isn't bad, but my elbow isn't on the screen. So if you look here, this number is much lower than the other one. The other one was 99, right? 0 0.99. That's 99%. This one's 2%. So it's not, it's like the elbow's over here, but I'm not too sure about that. That's good to know. That'll come into play later. But the key is here that once again, all we're doing is we're feeding our webcam and the P5, the ML5 function, or the PoseNet function, is figuring out where these 18 different points are on the canvas. Now here's where the fun starts. So let's have some fun with this. So I'm gonna close this out. Oh shoot, you know, I should keep that open again. I'm sorry, we'll, we'll be referring to this in a second. Uh, okay, so let's look at this again. So now I wanna access these things. So like, let's say I wanted to just put like a little red clown nose on my nose. Here's how I would do it. So what we're gonna do is this, we're gonna say pose, which remember is basically all the poses, dot pose. Oh, sorry, I should say this. So for, let's say I want the nose, I'm gonna say let nose. So I wanna store like specifically nose, I'm gonna say let nose equal pose dot pose. So pose is all the poses, just to tell you. I mean, all these different points. Dot pose because of this, and then Check this out, I'm just gonna go down to nose. So that's the thing. So I look at this list, I want my nose. So I'm gonna say pose.pose.nose. And basically you just always have to, whatever body part you want, it's just pose.pose.the body part from this list. So you just refer to the list, which I actually have linked into Google Classroom if you ever wanna look at it, but I'm gonna get the nose. So this stores basically that X, the Y, and the confidence level of the nose. So if you were to, whatever, Oop. Okay. So like if I were to do this, let me just console log this so you can see console log nose.x. What you're gonna see here is in the console, let's move this down and let's delete this because we don't need that anymore. I press play. What you're seeing here is this is the guess of the x coordinate of where my nose is. So it's saying like, okay, his nose is around like four, 500, which remember if this is 800, that's a little more than half, that's 500. Now look what happens if I move all the way over here. You see how that number is like 133, which makes sense because if this is zero, this is probably about 100. If I go all the way over here, see how it gets down to 20? So this changes based on where my nose is. So that's the X chord of my nose. So now that we know the X chord in my nose, this is where it gets kind of crazy. So this says step two, draw a circle on the nose. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna make an ellipse I'm gonna make it at nose.x. So the x coordinate of the ellipse is at the x coordinate of my nose. The y coordinate of the ellipse is at the y coordinate of my nose. And then I'm gonna define the size of it. So let's say 50. So watch what happens when I press play now. I have a little clown nose. So let's have some fun with this. Let's say no stroke. I don't want those lines. And let's make it red. So we'll say fill to 5500. And now I have a red clown nose. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cool. 
So now it's following my nose all around. Now, let's say I want to do it. Remember, there's 18 different points here. So before, when I was showing that to you, you see you had all these different points. We could use any of these. So I could have something follow my left ear. I could have something over my left um, eye. So let's cover my eyes up. Let's make some like kind of, should I make some glasses now? Let's, let's make some glasses. So let's say this. I'm going to say let um, left eye equal pose dot pose dot left eye. And keep in mind that I do have to capitalize the E because if you look over here, you see, I have to use exactly how this is referred to, left eye, capital E. So I got my left eye here. And let's put an ellipse over there. So I'm going to say, um, let's do a fill of, I don't know, let's do white. Um, we're going to do, actually, we can make this. And let's do a stroke of this black. I'm going to make some glasses. And I'm going to say the stroke weight is five. Okay, and then check this out. I'm going to make another ellipse. And let's do left i dot x left i dot y and let's make this one 80. let's take a look here so a little big actually let's move that down a little okay kind of cool maybe a little bigger sorry i'm just like messing around the numbers so okay all right so i got like one little thing over my eye that's kind of cool so now i got a clown nose and i got like a, a monocle oh actually i guess a monocle is more for like a like a, like a, um, what's it called? A, a, an industrial baron. So I'd be like, mm, I have more caviar. And maybe we can do the right eye. Right eye. So I'll do let right eye. So I'm just making my variable pose dot pose dot right eye. Once again, I'm just looking at my list here. I happen to know them, but I'd see that there's a right eye here. Okay. So let's do that again. So I'm just going to say, I'm going to be a little lazy here. I'm going to say this. And let's just change this to right eye now. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. So you can see here that like I'm kind of having some fun with this and I'm just putting these different uh, shapes uh, over my different body parts. And you could pick any of these. Remember, you could do anything from this list. I just happen. If you want to do put an earring on, you could put some earrings on there. You could choose to put something like a parrot on your shoulder. Any of these body parts here, you could put something over. Now, I do want to show you one last thing. Uh, I do want to show you how to put an image. So let's say like I want to put like a top hat on. All right, let's, let's learn about that. So let's say I want to put an image on here. So what I would do is, um, I would find an image. So let's find an image of a hat. Let's do that. So I'm going to say uh, a hat, a top hat. I want a top hat. Actually, eh, I'm going to do images another time. That's it for this video. Uh, you just put in different shapes. Remember, you can add all sorts of other things. The only other thing I would show you is that you know you could also add text. So if I want to put some emojis over here, this is kind of fun. So. Let me say I want to do an emoji. Let's just look up an emoji over here. So I want a heart emoji. So let's say I want to do like heart eyes, like I just fell in love with someone. So I'm going to get this emoji. And let's just put this here. So check this out. And I'm just going to do this. So the text is that emoji. I'm going to use the X and Y coordinate of, what's it called? The eye. And I'll do it for the right eye as well. And check this out. And now I got little hard eyes. Oh, let's make that a little bit bigger. So let's do text size. Okay. Oh, come on, seagull. You gotta be smarter than that. And I have little hard eyes. Oh, oh, oh. And you can move them over. So let's say I want to move them a little bit to the left. So maybe I'll subtract 20 from the x coordinate. And I'll move it a little bit. Let's move it a little bit down. So I'll, I'll add 10 to these. Yeah, let's do that, and let's see how that looks. So, too much, too much, right? Okay, I'm just, I'm just moving things around. So that's it. That's the whole lesson for today. That's just basically um, what to do, just to kind of give you a repeat. Like if we want to turn this into a recipe, what you want to do is first make a variable for the body part. So let's say I want to do another body part, like my right shoulder. I'd say like let right shoulder equals pose 
equals pose dot pose. And then I go over here, I look for what it's named. So the right shoulder is here. And remember you have to use this list. You can't like do like hair because there's no hair on this list. All right, dot right shoulder. And then you just pick your shape or your text, whatever you want to do. And you'd say like, you know, ellipse is equal to right shoulder dot X. This makes no sense shoulder dot y so that's the x and y coordinates in the right shoulder and then whatever we'll just do it here this is just a terrible example but you'll see that now there's something on my right shoulder but that's it you make your variable and then you put your shape using the x and y of that thing so hopefully this has been informative you learned a little something and you're kind of getting inspired to like what kind of um uh uh uh, uh snapchat filters you want to make now next time we'll learn how to actually put some images on there and that's when things get crazy. And then when it gets really crazy is when we start using Teachable Machine to recognize different faces. So like when I open my mouth, maybe a rainbow comes spewing out of my mouth. There's anything's possible. You can make like laser vision, whatever you want. So let's uh, let's end the video here. And you know, you get started on the lab, take this to that next level. Peace.